faith in God, hallelujah, is going to increase. Amen. We're talking about growing faith, mm. <clears throat> growing faith this morning. <laughs> Amen. So let's just open up in prayer this morning as we commit this live stream to the Lord this morning. Father, we bless you. And we bless your people today. Thank you for waking us up today, Father. It is never in our own ability or strength, but it is your grace and your mercy that is upon us, Father. Thank you for the gift of life this morning. Therefore, we celebrate you, the giver of life the horn of our salvation jesus christ the messiah we thank you father for this is a day made by you and this morning no matter what we are facing father we choose to rejoice in day in this day we choose to be glad in this day in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit come in your might and in your power Come like a mighty rushing wind this morning and blow in our lives. We pray for a fresh outpouring of the Spirit of the Lord upon you this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you that you are reviving your people. You are, you are rejuvenating your people. You are refreshing them in your presence this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray even for the word, Father, that will be coming forth. Thank you for your word that will encourage your people. Thank you, Father, that we will not only be hearers of the word of the Lord, but we will be doers of the word of God this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen and, and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord on a Tuesday morning. Mm. So happy to be in the presence of the Lord with all of you. Amen. And we are talking about growing faith, Pastor Pinky. Hallelujah. Do you know that our faith needs to grow? Mm, tell us. It has to grow. Share it has to grow because the Bible says uh, the Lord has given every single one of us a measure okay. of faith. Amen. But that's not where our faith must uh, uh, end up. Mm. Our faith in God needs to increase. Our faith in God must ever be growing. As we mature in the things of God, Amen. as we become mature believers, mm. so is our faith. Our Amen. faith must grow in God. Yes. If you have started believing God for the little things in your life, mm. and you have seen God move, mm. and you have seen God uh, bring those things to pass, it Amen. is time to grow right now. Mm. It is time to grow in your faith and believe the Lord for greater and bigger things in your life. Hallelujah. But, um, you know, faith, faith is, is, is that which activates what we are believing God for. Amen. Hallelujah. And I hope that there are some people this morning that know that we serve a living God. Mm. We serve a God of the impossibilities. Mm. But our faith, we need to exercise our faith in God this morning. Hallelujah. Therefore, our faith must increase. And I, I want to start by saying that Jesus, Pastor Pinky, in his hometown... He was amazed by the lack of faith that was in yes. his hometown. Yes. Therefore, he said, you know, a prophet is not honored in his hometown yeah. because and, and the Bible says he didn't do he didn't perform many miracles there mm -hmm. because of their lack of faith. Mm -hmm. I believe Jesus wanted to do greater yes. in, in his own hometown. Mm -hmm. But because of their lack of faith, he moved on to minister elsewhere, sure. meaning that our faith. Faith plays a pivotal role. Amen. Our faith plays a mm. very important role in, in, in us seeing God move Amen. in our lives, move in, this, in our circumstances, move in the things that we are believing him for. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, today we are not going to be like those people in Jesus' hometown. We are not going to lack faith. We are not going to operate in a spirit of doubt, but we are going to have our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, you know, in contrast, we see the apostles of Jesus. Uh, um, they approached him and they said, Lord, increase our faith. And I want you to read that scripture for us, Pastor Pinky, from Luke 17 and verse 5. Luke 17, verse 5. You know what Pastor is about to sing right now? Luke in the book of Luke. <laughs> I look in the book of Luke. <laughs> that, that's, that's where we're at this morning. Luke 17 and verse 5. And the apostle says to the Lord, increase our faith. <clears throat> Amen. Mm. A very short portion of scripture. <clears throat> but the apostles said to the Lord, Lord, increase our, our faith. faith. 
Amen. Increase our faith. And that should be our cry this morning. Amen. And I don't think this morning that we are any better than the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ. If they, if they saw the need in their own lives, to ask the Lord to increase their faith, I believe we can do the same this morning. If you have been lacking in faith, if you have been lacking in hoping in the Lord Jesus Christ, I, I want to encourage you this morning. Be like the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Luke 17 verse 5. They said to the Lord, Lord, increase our faith. They wanted to see more. They wanted more from the Lord. Therefore, the same with us this morning. We can access the blessings of God. We can access more in God. We can access the spiritual gifts through faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, this morning, that is our desire. Lord, increase our faith. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I want to go to the book of 2 Thessalonians this morning. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 3. We are talking about growing faith. Growing faith. We need to grow in our faith and believe God for greater things. Mm. And for us to actually grow, and, and we must, we must believe. Amen. We must believe. Amen. That way we will receive great things from God. Mm. Second Thess Thessalonians, if you have your Bibles, this morning, you can just walk with us through the text this morning. And you know, the Bible says that the grass with us and the flowers fades, but the word of our God shall remain forever. Amen. It shall stand forever. Therefore, it's always important for us to make sure that as we teach the word of God, we teach from the Bible itself. We open up the Bible, not in our own intellect, wisdom, or knowledge, yes. but we always make reference to the Word of God. So open up your Bibles this morning. I want to I wanna, uh, stir up your faith this morning, that you continue to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 3. The Bible reads in this order, We ought always to give thanks to God for you. As is right, because your faith is growing abundantly. Your faith is growing abundantly. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Amen. That scripture is telling us we must thank the Lord for you because your faith is growing abundantly. Your faith is not stagnating. Your faith hasn't uh, uh, hit the ceiling, but there is always room Amen. for your faith in Jesus Amen. to grow. Amen. Therefore, from faith to faith, mm. from glory to glory, glory. our faith must forever be increasing, mm. believing God for the supernatural, Amen. believing God for miracles in Amen. your own lives, yes. believing God for provision, believing God God for mm. healing in your body, believing God for whatever it is that you need in your life. It requires your faith in Jesus to grow. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's something to thank God for this morning. Yes. The fact that he has given every single one of us a measure of, of faith. faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, allow that faith in you to grow on a daily basis. Grow, steadily grow in faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to look in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9 and verse 29. Hallelujah. The Lord bless the reading of his word. Matthew 9 and verse 29. If you have it, you can, you can go ahead and read for us, Pastor Pinky. Matthew 9 verse 29. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. According to your faith, let it be done unto you. But I want to take it from verse 27 there, Pastor Pinky. Uh, Jesus heals the two blind men. Yes. Uh, um, and as Jesus passed on from there, yes. two blind men followed him, crying aloud, have mercy on us, son yes. of David. Yes. They were crying out for mercy, for help. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yeah. They said to him, Yes, yeah. Lord. Yes. Then he touched their eyes. Uh, that's the verse you've just read. He touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be done. 
unto you. Unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. These two blind men, they received their healing. They received what they needed Amen. through faith. Yes. Therefore, the Lord said to them, according to, to your, your faith, faith. let it be done yes. unto you. Amen. What is it that you are believing God for this morning? According to your faith. Let Amen. it be done unto you. Amen. Be it healing in your body. Just like these two blind men. They said, Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. But the, the reality of what we are talking about here this morning is that they had faith in the Lord. Mm -hmm. They had no doubt that the Messiah was well able Amen. to take that spirit of blindness yes. away from them. Amen. That he could totally restore their sight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According Hallelujah. to your faith, Amen. let it be done unto you this morning. Mm -hmm. You are still believing God for that job according to your faith. Yes. Let it be done unto you. Amen. You are believing God for a business or for your business to continue mm -hmm. to, or to grow according to your faith. Amen. Let it be done Amen. unto you. Amen. You are believing God for your children to serve him. They are in the world. They are prodigals. But you are believing God for a turnaround in their lives. According to your faith, let it be done unto you. Lord, my finances are in a mess. According to your faith, let it be done unto Amen. you. May the Lord restore mm. unto you what the locust has eaten Amen. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According to your faith. Let it be done unto you. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, faith is, 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 is the ground that we have for hope. Mm. And yeah. hope is in Jesus. Mm. Faith is the ground that we have for hope in our lives. Every morning you wake up, you got to have faith in you. Yeah. No matter what the situation is saying to yes, you. Yes. Remember the Bible says we don't walk by what we see, mm. but we walk by faith. You might wake up this morning, there's a, there's a physical mountain standing in front of mm. you. You can see this mountain, yeah. but you got to look beyond that mountain Amen. because we don't walk by our sight, but mm. we walk by faith faith. Amen. Therefore, if you believe, mm. if you have faith Amen. as small as a mustard seed, Amen. you can say to this mountain, Amen. thou be removed mm. and be cast in the midst of the sea. Amen. Jesus was not literally telling his disciples mm. to cast mountains into the sea. <laughs> but he was saying that mountain, mm. that problem, if you believe, yes. it can be removed. It can be removed, can be removed if you have faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, Pastor Pinky, we is still in the book of Matthew. Let's go to Matthew 21 before I go a little bit further. Matthew 21. Matthew 21 and verse 21. Matthew 21, verse 21. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for his word of encouragement this morning. Matthew 21. Matthew 21 and verse 21. Mm, okay. Um, it reads as follows. So Jesus answered and said to them, As surely I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also, if you say th to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, mm. it will be done. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Believing. Mm. That speaks of faith. Yes. Whatever you ask in prayer, believing, believing. having faith, Amen. it shall be done Hallelujah. for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. But if you, if you still look in Matthew 21, verse 21, Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. If you have faith and do not doubt, mm. do not doubt. I tell you the truth. These are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, I tell you the truth. Amen. If you have faith and never doubt, doubt. Amen. therefore doubt is of the enemy. Yeah. Doubt is not of God. When we believe, we totally believe Amen. in the words and the promises of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise the Lord for his word. Thank you, Jesus. Mark chapter 6 and verse 6. The Bible speaks there. I'm just going to paraphrase. The Bible in Mark 6 verse 6. The Bible speaks of how Jesus was amazed about their lack of faith. 
You know, and that's what we started saying earlier, that Jesus could not perform many miracles in his own hometown because of their lack of of faith but this morning i don't want to amaze jesus i don't want you to amaze jesus with a lack of faith we we gotta have faith in our lives to believe that god will do whatever he has said in his word therefore the bible says all of his promises are yes and amen in christ amen. and that hit me so hard as i was reading that the promises of god they are yes and in Christ. Yes. Therefore, our faith is in Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mark chapter 11 and verse 22. Mm. Mark 11 verse 22. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mark 11 and verse 22. The Bible reads in this order, And Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Amen. Have faith in God. It is a command from the Lord Jesus. Have faith in God. Mm. And I want to say this morning that faith is a choice. Faith is a choice of our will. Mm. We choose to have faith in Jesus and we choose not to have faith in mm. Jesus. Yes. It is entirely up to us yes. to have faith in God. Mm. Hallelujah. Therefore, choose wisely this morning. Mm. Choose wisely this morning. Amen. Choose to have faith in God. Amen. Choose to believe God for mm. whatever it is Amen. that you are believing God for. Amen. Isabel de Govea says, no more lack. No more lack of faith, I believe. Mm, yeah. No more lack of faith. Um, having, having faith and believe. Thank you for that comment there, uh, Isabel. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you. So therefore, Jesus gave them a command. He said, have faith in God. Amen. And I did mention that faith is a choice of our will. It is something we can determine to do. And determined to do that this morning. Determined to believe God for his promises. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you need to personalize this thing this morning. Mm. I will have faith in God. Yes. Make it personal this morning. Mm. I will have faith in God. I, Isabel de Govea, mm. will have faith in God. Amen. I, Isabel Mulman, have faith in God. Amen. I, Ngombani, have faith in God. I, Sandra Coleza, have faith faith in God. Amen. I, Rian Yulis. I, Denzel Lentner. I, uh, uh, Connie Barkes. I, Unati. I, Kobisa. Whoever is watching this morning, Amen. make it personal. I have faith in God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Fifi, I have faith in God. Mm. I have faith in God. Amen. Rachel, I have faith in God. Anna, I have faith in God. Make it personal this morning. Make it personal. Cindy, Naidu, I have faith in God this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Guide up. All of you watching, make it personal. Declare it over your life that your faith is in God this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Listen, we can never settle for less, Pastor Pinky. We can never settle for less. There are greater things that we can, we can get out of God. We Amen. can get in God. Mm. But we got to have faith. We got to believe. Mm. We got to believe. Praise the Lord. Uh, John chapter 8 uh, uh, and verse 30. Uh, the Bible says, even as he spoke, many put their faith in him. Mm. As Jesus was, was preaching, yes. as Jesus was, was, was delivering a powerful message, the Bible says many people who were listening to him, they put their faith faith in him and the bible says faith comes by hearing hallelujah it comes by hearing and hearing the word of the lord therefore the bible says to us this morning rightly so that many people put their faith in jesus when they heard him speak when they heard him preach therefore this morning let your faith come from the word of the lord as you hear the word of the lord let your faith be activated let your faith grow in amen. the name of jesus amen hallelujah 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 i see the people mm. of god i see your comments i have faith in god i have faith amen. in god hallelujah. hallelujah praise the lord we are never going to look to the left nor the right mm -hmm. our eyes are fixed uh, on jesus hallelujah praise the lord amen. praise the lord praise mm. the lord Praise the Lord. Romans 10 verse 17. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Uh, consequently, 
Faith comes from hearing. I'm just backing up what I've said now. That when the people heard Jesus speak, the Bible says many of them put their faith in him. Therefore, Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise God. It's powerful, Pastor mm -hmm. Pinky. But I also want to really uh, uh, stare, stare this in our spirit this morning. Uh, we're still in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 1 and verse 12. And verse 12. But maybe, Pastor Pinky, you can check uh, Ephesians chapter 6 for us. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16. If you can check that one out for us. But I will read Romans chapter 1 and verse 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Pila, Faith, and Pupi, thank you for, for, for joining this morning. The Lord bless you. So I'm going to be reading from Romans 1 verse 12. Uh, uh, the Bible says, that is that you and I may be mutually encouraged. Amen. We must be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. That's also very powerful. Mm. You know, there are brothers and sisters in the kingdom of God. Mm. And it's powerful to look uh, up to each other. If you see a brother's faith that is strong, that should be an encouragement in your own personal life. Let your brother's uh, faith, let your sister's faith be encouraging to you. According to the word of the Lord, that is that you and I may be mutually, the both of us must be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. Mm -hmm. Your faith must rub off me, Pastor Amen. Pinky. My faith must rub off you. Amen. If I'm believing God for big things, and, and, and that must rub off you to Amen. also believe God for big things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Isabel says we must have the faith of a child. What they ask, they believe they will receive. Mm. Childlike faith. True. Childlike faith faith amen hallelujah praise god uh if you are ready there pastor pinky you can read ephesians uh chapter 6 and verse 16 for us all right hallelujah amen above all taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one amen amen praise god that is powerful mm. now we've just switched the gears now we are, we, are, we are in a spiritual warfare right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. The Bible says we must take up the shield of faith. Amen. The shield of faith. Uh, Pilar says, may I be encouraged by my brother's faith. Amen. Amen. That is powerful. That is really, really powerful. Now, the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 16, <clears throat> take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Amen. Therefore, faith is important. Mm. Faith is important. Mm. Not only does it cause us to believe and to hope and to know that when we have faith, the Bible says we must pray believing. Yes. That speaks of faith yes. that we will receive. But on the other side, we see how the Lord, when it comes to the armor of God, mm. the Bible says, take up the shield of faith. Not on her, oh, hallelujah, this blesses me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows mm -hmm. of the evil one. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. This is a blessing to us this morning. Mm -hmm. Your faith can protect you. Mm -hmm. Your faith can stop any arrow amen. that has been shot towards amen. you by the enemy. Yes, amen. And you know, he likes shooting many arrows on a daily basis. Mm. He likes whispering. He likes lying to us. The Bible calls him a liar. The, the father, the, the father oh, yeah. of lies. Amen. Because the Bible says in him, there, there is, is no, no truth. truth. There is no truth. And therefore this morning, take up the shield of faith. He can say to you that things are never going to work out in your life. That is a lie yes. from, from, from hell. Don't believe. Don't doubt. Don't doubt uh, the promises of God over your life this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Take up a shield of faith Amen. and extinguish that fiery dart. Mm. Ah, your marriage will never work. The devil is a liar. It's a lie. Your marriage is never going to be fixed. Your marriage will never work. Look, look, look at those problems. Mm. Look at those faults. Mm. They, they, mm. They, these people will never change. That is mm. a, lie a lie from hell because the Bible says, what, what God has put together, Amen. hallelujah, let no man put asunder, yes. let no man separate, Amen. therefore your marriage will live, Hallelujah. your marriage will succeed, hallelujah. have faith 
this morning. Mm. Have faith to even love your partner. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Have faith Help that us, things Lord. are going to work out in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. We speak restoration over you today. Amen. Right now, Amen. in your marriage. May the Lord yes. bless your marriage. Mm. We speak the love of God in your marriage this yes. morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We speak <laughs> romance in your marriage. Hallelujah. <laughs> your first love. <laughs> hey, the wife of your youth. Oh, Come on yeah. now. Drink from your own well, man yeah. of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Preach. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Yes, bring, bring restoration, from your own love, world. believe God for restoration yes. in your family, in yes. your marriage, in yes. your finances, yes. every area. Amen. Have faith Amen. and believe God that mm. God will turn things around Amen. for your good this morning. Amen. What the devil has intended for evil, yes. the Lord will, will turn, turn it, it around, around for your good this Hallelujah. morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Joseph said to his brothers, Thank you, you meant it for evil, mm. but God meant it, it for, for good. good. Hallelujah. Yes. Your faith in God is going to turn your situation around Amen. today. Amen. According to your faith, let it be done. Unto you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Praise the Lord this morning. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 11. Amen. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 11. The Bible says, But you, men of God, pursue righteousness, mm. pursue godliness, mm. pursue faith. Mm. Pursue faith. Righteousness, godliness, and faith. Hallelujah. Let, let the Lord speak to all of us here this morning. Let us pursue faith, people of God. Let us pursue godliness. Let us pursue righteousness. Hallelujah. 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 But I love it. It's something that we must pursue yeah. according to the word of the Lord. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, 11, we must pursue faith. We must run after faith, chase faith. Until you grab a hold of it. In the name of Jesus. Take up the shield of faith. Don't let situations rule you. Don't become passive. Yeah. You must be the aggressor in faith. Sure. Be aggressive. Hallelujah. In your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Be aggressive in your faith. Your faith in God must be. <laughs> I'm looking for an easier word here. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Be aggressive, man. Be aggressive in your faith. Believe God Amen. for the impossible this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. I, want, I want you to know this morning, don't you ever give up. There's a, there's a great man of God in the United States of America, uh, Jim Finney. A great man of God, Jim Finney. Um, you know, as a pastor, I, th I think he, he, he must have really gone through the paces because mm. he was believing God together with his wife for a child. And for six years of their marriage, there was, there was no child. There was no sign of a child. And medically, uh, it was proven that they would never be able to conceive. Yes. Mm, but the devil is a liar. Amen. The Lord, the Lord, the God whom we serve Amen. is faithful. Mm. Uh, Jim Finney's wife went ahead and bought a court and fixed a room. Mm. And put everything as if the baby was about to come. Amen. A year later, wow. the baby was born. Wow. Sometimes you got to reach out in the realm of the spirit Amen. in faith and Hallelujah. grab your miracle in the spirit Hallelujah. and bring it into the natural. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, <laughs> faith is too deep. Mm. It's too deep. Call Amen. those things. That are, not. that are not as though they are. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe God this morning. Mm. Believe God. Uh, and I, I believe Gobisa is watching today. Yeah, she is. The watching. other day, I wanted her to, 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 to testify mm. and to share with the people of God. Uh, 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 um, Sister Gobisa, you know, uh, it's a great testimony what the Lord uh, has done in your life. You know, uh, uh, um, I know it's, it's personal, but please, if you can, we want to speak faith into the, the heart and the spirit Amen. of, 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 of uh, God's people this Amen. morning. 
You know, if you will, this morning, Sister Kobisa, she went through the same thing. She was believing God for a baby. You know, it took time. They did everything possible in their, in their strength to yeah. fall pregnant. Yeah. But, you know, God, 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 in his grace and in his mercy, mm. you know, uh, Kobisa was able to conceive after a long time mm. of, of really trying to have a baby. Mm. But God is a God that can open wombs. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm. Sarah was barren, but her womb was opened in the name of Jesus. Hannah, Amen. oh, Hallelujah. the boy Samuel came yeah. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The Bible Amen. says she, she prayed to God. Yes. She, she prayed and the man of God saw Hannah praying. Mm. Her lips were moving, but the words were not coming Amen. out. She probably came to the end of herself, Pastor Binky. Mm. Lord, I don't know what to do anymore. Sure. Lord, I need a baby. But after Nina is on my back. She's ridiculing me You're... that I, I cannot bear children. But yes. Lord, I don't even know what to say anymore. Yes. Yes. Come through for me, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. The boy Samuel came. Mm. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Have faith in Hallelujah. God this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. God wants our faith to grow, people of God. Mm. God wants our faith to grow Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so blessed this morning. Amen. I am so, 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 so blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to look at five points this morning. Five points to growing in faith. Five points to growing in faith. Number one, faith leads to understanding. Faith leads to understanding and not vice versa. Understanding does not lead to faith, but faith leads to understanding. Hebrews 11 verse 3, the Bible says, By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Amen. But the, the Bible says, By faith we understand. Amen. Faith brings understanding to us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number two, faith is not passive. Amen. Faith is not passive. Amen. There's Kobisa saying amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate that baby with you, uh, Kobisa. Amen. The blessing from God. Uh, faith is not passive, but rather faith seeks its object diligently. Faith seeks its object diligently. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Praise God. Praise God. There's a turnaround coming in somebody's life this morning. Hallelujah. Faith is not passive, but seeks its object diligently. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly, yeah. who diligently seek him. So in your faith, earnestly yes. seek God. Yes. In your faith, diligently seek yes. God because he will reward your faith in Amen. him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we spoke about the example of the two blind beggars uh, who came to Jesus asking, uh, crying out for mercy. Amen. And, and, and their faith was, was, was diligently seeking, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. its object. Yes. And that was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the object. Mm -hmm. Their faith was seeking after Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Narrow down your focus. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. You will see that breakthrough. Hallelujah. You will see that breakthrough. Amen. In Jesus' name. Isabel says, testimonies build our growth in faith. Amen. Faith brings understanding and growth. Amen. Amen. Isabel de Govea. So faith, that was point number two. Number one, faith leads to understanding. Yes. Number two, faith is not passive, but rather seeks its object uh, uh, diligently. Hallelujah. Number three, Obisa says, God is faithful. Hey, God is faithful. Absolutely. Absolutely. If he can do it for her, he can do it for you, people for of God. anyone else. A a any, any single one of you that's believing God Amen. for a child, uh, God can do it for you. Do Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Number three, faith acts upon the prompting of the Lord. <clears throat> faith acts, <clears throat> excuse me, upon the prompting of the Lord. Hebrews 11 verse uh, 7. The Bible says, by faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen. 
in holy fear he built an ark to save his family Amen. meaning that faith acts upon the prompting of the lord wow <laughs> hallelujah Amen. Uh, 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 he <laughs> when he was warned about the things mm. not yet seen mm. he was warned about the rain that's to come which he has Amen. never seen yeah. he had never experienced but the bible says by faith mm. in holy fear Amen. he built the ark Amen. to save his family yes. though what was you know he was told to build an ark mm. because rain would come. Yes. And he, he, he had never seen this. Mm. By faith, he moved. Amen. According to the prompting of the Lord. The Lord. Amen. What is it that the Lord is speaking to you about today? Mm. That you just got to take a step of faith. Amen. Take a leap of faith mm. and say, Lord, I don't know how this thing is going to work. Mm. I don't know how this, this job is going to come. Amen. I don't know how things are going to work. Mm. I have no clue. Mm. Take a leap of faith. Amen. I'll, I'll do something crazy, Lord. I'll do something crazy mm. in faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The prophet Denzel Lentner, he says, come on, man of God. Praise God. Praise God this morning. God, says, thank you, Bafundisi. Well, we praise God. Glory to Jesus. That was point number three. Faith acts upon the prompting of the Lord. And we've, get, we've given you that uh, scripture reference there from Hebrews 11 verse 7. Number four, uh, second to last. Faith is willing to go forward into the unknown. Faith is willing to go forward into the unknown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 verse 8. Verse eight the Bible says, by faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as in as as his inheritance, he obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says in Hebrews 11, 8, by faith. When Abraham was called, he just obeyed God. And the Bible says, even mm. though he did not know yes. where he was going. Yes. So that's point number four. Faith is willing to go forward, go forward into the unknown. Sure. As long as God has told you to do it, that's it. Have faith in Amen. God. He later got to Amen. the Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Only in obedience, in mm. faith to God. Mm. Just go into the unknown. Amen. Move forward. Amen. Your faith must be willing to go forward Amen. into the unknown. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number five, the last point I'm gonna give us this morning. Faith involves uh, 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 um obedience to God. Faith involves obedience to God. Hebrews 11 verse 30. Hebrews 11 verse 30. The Bible says, by faith, the walls of Jericho fell. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell. Amen. After the people had mushed around them for seven days. Sure. Therefore, faith involves obedience to God. Mm. God gave them a strategy to march around the wall. Yes. And by faith, mm. those walls fell. Fell. Amen. But they were obedient to the instruction of God. Hallelujah. Marched around. Hallelujah. For seven days. Mm. Mm. We must be obedient. Amen. Faith involves being being obedient to the prompting of God Amen. being obedient to God himself therefore by faith Joshua obeyed God mm. and led the Israelites in a march around Jericho daily for seven days Amen. he saw no victory but on the seventh day God said to march around the city seven times mm. after six times still no victory Amen. then upon completion of the seventh march mm. on the seventh day mm. God caused the walls of Jericho to collapse Mm. And the Israelites were able to capture the city. Mm. You can go and read Joshua chapter 6, verse 1 to 20. That is a faith lesson. Keep obeying Hallelujah. the Lord's direction until you see the result. Hallelujah. Keep on obeying mm. the Lord's instruction mm. and direction mm. until you see the result. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12. I'm closing with this. Hebrews 6, 12 tells us that it is through faith faith and mm. patience mm. that we inherit what has been promised yeah. hallelujah hebrews 6 verse 12 it tells us that it is through faith and patience that we inherit what has been promised 
Have faith this morning. Inherit every promise of God concerning your life. Every promise of God that has been spoken over your life, you can inherit it today because the Bible says through faith we can inherit what has been promised. Amen. Praise God for his word this morning, Pastor Pinky. Praise God. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12. Hallelujah. So blessed this morning. I am so blessed. My faith is stirred up, my mm, I'm, I'm teaching about faith, up, but I'm my faith up. has been stirred up it this morning to believe Amen. God for greater things. Yes. Uh, and I actually love <clears throat> uh, uh, um, point number four that Me I mentioned. Too. Yeah. That faith is willing to go forward into the into unknown. The unknown yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us march forward today in faith, believing God for things to be made manifest in your life. Amen. Those things that you are believing God for. Mm. Leap into the unknown by faith hallelujah Amen. the lord will lead and guide you he will lead and guide you mm. praise god this morning Amen. i want to pray for us in the name of jesus Thank this you, morning jesus. just lift up your hands if you are in your home maybe you are already in your office but if you're driving keep your hands on the steering please just receive the prayer mm. this morning as we pray for your faith this morning just mm. like the apostles of jesus christ when they came to him they said lord increase our faith they 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 saw that there was a need for their faith Amen. to grow there was a, a desire for their faith to grow I want to pray that into your spirit this morning that your faith will not be stagnant. Your faith will not be in one place. Amen. If God is a God of progress, Amen. if God is a God that always moves, mm. hallelujah, hallelujah, we ought to be progressive people as well Amen. this morning. But let your faith in God progress. Amen. Let your faith in God move forward Amen. today. Let Amen. there be a, an upward mobility in your faith today mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Come on, let's just pray together this morning. Le brodia sata, makalo boska, le besheke le bosaya, rando lo bosi kala basheke, rekete le bosa, mando brekete le boshi kala ba yekete, rago do lo bosa thala bariasu, medebekete le bosha, rekendo lo bosha. Come, let's pray together. Let's pray together. Believe God for your own faith to grow this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Le besheke le mando lo bosaya. Rebecca de la Bosca, Rabababa Shatalabario Satalamande, O Shalaba Sekeya. Father, we bring your people before your throne of grace this morning. Yes, Lord. We pray for faith. Yes, Lord. We pray for their faith yes, to increase today mm. in the name of Jesus. That childlike faith today, yes. that, 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 that faith that is as small as the mustard seed. seed. I yes. pray, Father, that it will grow. Hallelujah. It will grow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even this morning we, we we break the spirit of doubt the mm. spirit of doubt that has come upon the people of God we break its power this morning in the name of Jesus yes, father I thank you just like Abraham mm. just like Noah we will in obedience father go into the unknown because you will never lead us father mm. to a place where you are not there mm. therefore I thank you father I speak into the future of your people today that they are Faith will catapult them into, into a hope, Father, Amen. into a great future Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let that faith be activated today mm. in them. Let it be activated on the inside of you. Amen. Begin to believe God once more. Mm. Believe to have hope in the name mm. of Jesus. Begin Hallelujah. to know in your spirit mm. that as you believe in the Lord, he will make a way for you this morning Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank Amen. you today mm. that you are greater than any other God. Yes, Lord. You are mighty. Yes, Lord. Father, we bless you today. Mm. Thank you this morning that by your spirit, you are imparting faith yes, by your Lord. spirit yes, in Lord. the lives mm. of your people. No more lack of faith. No more doubt in your life. In Jesus' amen. mighty name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Isabel says, Amen. Hallelujah. Sure. God is faithful. Truly, He is. Mm -hmm. Cindy, I see you. She says, Amen. amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Family, thank you for joining us this morning. We love you with the sure. love of Christ. Before we go this morning, we want to just uh, uh, remind you this coming Sunday, 10 a.m., it is our first year 
celebration Hallelujah. in this ministry. Hallelujah. The Lord has been good to us. It's a one year. We are a, a, a growing ministry, mm. but we don't doubt the call of God upon Amen. our lives. Amen. We don't doubt uh, 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 God's mm -hmm. uh, uh, hand upon this ministry. Amen. So therefore, come and celebrate with us Amen. as we celebrate our one year celebration. Hallelujah. Invite somebody, your colleagues, your friends. Mm. Make sure that you are in the house of the Lord as we celebrate the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are God you looking forward to good. Sunday? I'm looking forward to Sunday. I'm excited. Amen. Um, I just want to encourage everyone to come and pay us a visit yeah. this Sunday. If you've never been to the Way Evangelistic yeah. Ministry, yeah. make your way to the Way Amen. this Sunday. Come and our address is Butter Boys, yeah. number 32, th number 32 yeah. Street, Montana, Amen. Pretoria. Yeah. It's also on our Facebook page. Yeah. It's our cover page on Facebook. Yeah. That's our address. Follow our page, like our page. Praise God. What's up us? Hallelujah. We are a team. We are here. We are ready to pray for you. Amen. And encourage you Hallelujah. as well. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank you guys uh, so much for waking up with us every morning, uh, being in the presence of the Lord. We love you and we bless you. Amen. May we continue to chase and go after the presence of the Lord. With that said, I am Evangelist Abu Mahasani, your favorite evangelist, together with the beautiful African Queen, Pastor Pinky, will spot you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. sharp. God bless you. Amen.